What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new AEW action figure news for you. If you guys missed yesterday, it was kind of posted later in the afternoon. If you guys did not check it out, we're going to go cover it in this video. We're going to be breaking down all of what we got yesterday, some brand new images of the next AEW action figure series that we should be seeing at our door, the ones that should be hitting very, very soon to Ringside Collectibles, and we should have them practically within the month, I would say. I would say before July, these guys are going to going to be hitting our front steps and I can't wait to review them because we got an epic set. It's AEW and Match Series number four featuring some great talent, some first figures from some talents that we've been waiting on for a long time and I cannot wait to get into it man. So let's go ahead and dive into what is AEW and Match Series four. Now we already saw these figures but this is way better detailed figures from my man Matt over there. Definitely go check him out. He is an absolute baller. One of the best photographers in the figure game. Now we are going to get into these images man. So let's go ahead and start things off with Jade Cargill. I I think that this figure looks outstanding. I think that it is easily the best women's figure that Jazz Wears has made to date. I love it. Yeah, I, I think it's practically perfect. I was worried about the arms and the shoulders, but I think the way this figure looks, standing up in the black and gold, I think it looks phenomenal. I think the definition is there in her abdomen, in her legs, in the arms. I think this looks like a perfect figure, practically. I mean, maybe they could get a better head sculpt next time, but the head sculpt is still damn good. I love the head sculpt. I think it's great, and I think this figure is going to look fantastic. I like the gold boots. I like it. I, I, You know, you don't get much accessories. I wish we could get a TBS championship, I guess it was too late to get that but you do got fisted hands you have some other hands going on there with the entrance there so you know it, it is what it is I think I think they look solid very good looking figure can't wait to get this in hand I am kind of worried about the little waist gap right there for her figure but we will have that remains to be seen I, I don't like how it cuts off in the middle of her stomach it's kind of distracting to the eye especially how you have like her ab cut right there and then right there there it is just it's kind of, you know, it's kind of gappy, you know, and I, I hate that. I wish that could close down. If they could have put the, the waist swivel, like, right below where the trunk's cut off, I think that would have been a much better place to put it. But who am I, Brad? Who am I? You know, uh, hopefully this feels fantastic in hand. I think the images look great. I cannot wait to get it in hand and review. Like I said, I think it is the best women's figure AEW and Jazzwares has done so far. Next up, we got to get into this figure because it is very coveted. The regular edition, not the chase edition, is the regular edition Unmatched Series 4. Punk. You guys know we also are getting that Walmart exclusive Punk that is going to be in trunks with the hoodie. So that, that was a genius move by Jazz Wears. It makes the Chase version pretty much available everywhere with the AEW hoodie. It's going to be highly sought after. But this is the regular edition CM Punk with the Larry hoodie in the long tights from All Out. And I, I just, oh man. Like, I, I want to like this figure a lot. I love the accessories. The legs are just too damn skinny, man. These legs look very odd. They went with Sammy Guevara lower legs and boots. So he has like it, AEW and Jazz wears equivalent of Johnny Gargano syndrome exists here for guys like CM Punk, guys like Sammy Guevara, they do end up having that Johnny Gargano syndrome. It's it's the way it is. It's very unfortunate, but that's what we have to deal with here. So he does have his long tights. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm excited to get a new CM Punk figure here in 2022. Great looking hoodie. I love the hoodie. I love the hands. I love everything going on. I think the torso and arms and even the head isn't that bad. I think the posing is going to be great, but I just hate these, these legs. They're too skinny, and then he has the weird kick pad mold. So that is going to bother me, but uh, I don't want to spend too much time on because we do have other figures to get through but that CM Punk let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below we also have Hangman Adam Page in his promo gear I love this I love the head sculpt I love all the accessories you're getting here love any street gear figure we're getting I mean that just makes the world go round this is some of the stuff we've been begging for Mattel for years outside of those gigantic ugly basic suit bodies that can't move around these are great man these really are what make your collection stand out they work really well for, for pick fetting and stop motion and setups and all these different things that really bring the whole illusion together and create those looks and changes it up. I don't want a guy in wrestling gear every single time. If you're going to have multiple Cody's, multiple Jericho's, multiple Hangman's, multiple Kenny Omega's, and even in WWE, multiple Roman Reigns, multiple John Cena's and stuff like that, change up the looks, man. Change it up. If their wrestling gear is way different than their street gear or their promo gear where they're hanging out backstage in a segment or whatever, change that up. It, it makes it refreshing and it gives a person a reason to buy that figure out outside of the wrestling gear. So I think this is great. And I love all the different the different cans and, and cup accessories that he's come with. I love this hangman. I think it's great. You get a lot of different stuff out of it. 
this is good stuff. Next up in the set, we have the Luminaries Collection Corazon de Leon Chris Jericho figure. It is going to remain in the in the blue box. I was hoping that it would change colors depending on what the figure looked like. I thought that would be cool, but I guess they are keeping the uniform look. I do love the Luminaries logo. I love the Luminaries Collection packaging. I think it's gorgeous with the blue. I just thought, for some reason, I was thinking maybe maybe they'll do like a yellow foil or something. I don't know. I know they have, we have gold foils, just something that crossed my mind, but... Like for Owen Hart, if he was a part of the Luminaries collection, I was thinking like a pink package, a pink foil. How sick would that be? But this looks great in packaging. I don't know how I feel about the figure. He looks a bit wonky. You know, he's got the rubber jacket. It's not a very... I, I could see this guy show form a lot, man. I really could. I think that this guy is going to show form quite a bit. It does change it up because it is a Luminaries collection. But since every other AEW figure is pretty widely available, he has that paint on the thigh or that like stuff coming down on the thigh. Instead of making that fringe like the Bucks, the series. Series 3 bucks, you know, uh, different tassels. Instead of making that hang down from the shorts, that would have been a lot better because now when you articulate the leg, you're going to have those stripes going all the way around. Very odd looking design. And then you have the rubber jacket. It's not a very great look for Chris Jericho, one that, you know, a lot of people are going to search out. So I can see this guy hardcore shelf warming. Head sculpt isn't perfect either. If I had a really good young Jericho head, I could have that even more reason to buy it to put on other figures other customs, fix-ups, WWE figures, but I just think this is one that's going to shuffle them, and hopefully it is, uh, it's fantastic, and hopefully it will be good, but I don't know, man, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it, we'll have to see, but I am, I, I think it's a cool figure, an idea for a figure, I just don't think it was executed to the best, and it may pay the price there as it shuffle forms at Walmart. Now, next, we do have the Cody Rhodes Unmatched Series 4 figure, you guys know that this, and then we have a chase figure of this that we'll look at in just a moment, but this is the regular version of Cody Rhodes from a match series four and then of course we do have the supreme collection these are going to be the last cody figures that we get from jazz wares of course we are going to get wwe elites and ultimates and stuff like that that is going to of course take place but cody Rhodes, right here i love this figure i love the shoe mold i like the leg pants i i love everything about it i just hate that they went with the overthrow coat it's like the winter coat suit you know it's it's a jacket over a suited jacket you know it's like the it's when you're out there and you're 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 really cold winter areas this is what you would wear right you'd wear like the overthrow thick jacket over your suit and i just don't really care for this i think that it would have been a lot better had they just went with a regular suit you know like the brody that we're going to be getting like the malachi black that we're going to be getting like other suited bodies that we saw from you know the ringside exclusive jr the ringside exclusive tony Schiavone. i think those kinds of suited bodies would do much better because now you just have the winter coat cody and maybe maybe you could throw you know maybe you can remove that vest and something will be cool underneath and then you could possibly put a mattel jacket or another jacket from another company on there to fix the cody i still love the figure it's the screaming head sculpt and the smiley head sculpt which i think are great he comes with the mic good interchangeable hands there but at the same time i wish it was the shorter jacket we already knew what we were getting i love the molds here but i do not like the overthrow jacket wish it would have been shorter version but at the same time, it is going to be a pretty cool figure. Maybe we can surgify it, put it under, you know, Dr. Whitekiss can get in the lab and do some work on it and get it to go. Before we get into the chases of the set, we're also going to look at the MJF in the white gear from Unmatched Series 4. Now, I love this figure. Everything about this figure is fantastic from the neck down. I do not like this head sculpt. It just does not look like MJF to me. It looks like somebody tried to make a custom MJF out of a different guy's head sculpt. I think the Series 2 unrivaled MJF was much better. I think that his his unrivaled 6 head sculpt is, is probably better than this. It's just like, it's just, it, this isn't MJF. You know what I mean? I look at this head sculpt. It does not look like MJF to me. So those do spell some problems there. But I love the white gear. The purple is beautiful. I love that we're getting the return of the purple scarf. I like the white knee pads, the white tape, the elbow pads really nice with the deco on it. I love the white gear MJF. I might grab a lot of these simply for the case of just making future white gears of people for customs or something. I don't know. But I am not a fan of the head sculpt. That's the only thing holding this figure back. I can't wait to get Wardlow from the same, you know, white and purple gear. But this MJF is not as good as that Wardlow. And I still like the figure again, but the head sculpt's just not doing it for me, man. Another bad head sculpt in the set. Hate to see it there. But that does complete the regular set. That is every figure that is regular edition. Now we're going to dive into the Chase variant version, which we already knew one of them, but we do have mock images of it. We're going to take a look at it in the trunks here. And that is going to be CM Punk, one of 5,000 Chase edition. Really beautiful mock figure. I like the torso choice here, just like the other. He does have the skinny legs, but I don't think that this looks as bad. I'm pretty sure these are the same legs that they used. He also has knee pads on, which I think adds to it. I think if you put knee pads on the regular version, 
version that'll help that figure a lot as well maybe you could switch out the thighs on this guy and make it look a little bit better maybe you could even switch it out and put some plain black kick pads on him not the Sammy Guevara version but different version you know maybe some Kenny Omega ones or or something of that nature maybe some Santana one or, or I don't know you just change it up a little bit there maybe that could make all the difference but they couldn't put his thigh tattoos for some reason I think it's copyright but they do have like a very similar Cobra Commander looking tattoo on there it looks just like the logo and then the Pepsi logo is practically the same logo except it's not colored in which we will probably do on surgery so I like it I like the CM Punk the Chase Edition right here is not bad I don't think this is a perfect head sculpt for his first head sculpt from Jazzwares but I do like it I don't hate it I think the tattoo the you know deco is really good I like the hands with the blue X's. I just think that uh, the chase version is a lot better than the regular version. The kick pads and knee pads really kind of disguise the skinniness of the legs, but that'll have to remain to be seen. Of course, we are getting that Walmart exclusive version, so if you're, it's going to break your heart not to get this. Just hold on for that Walmart exclusive version. If you're a hardcore chase collector, you want the chase specifically, go after it, but I'm just telling you what I'm thinking right there. Now, the chase version here is pretty solid. And then we have a new sticker because we're diving into the 1 of 3000 edition Unmatched Series 4, Cody Rhodes. You guys will notice immediately no longer a gold sticker. We're going with this red and black sticker to match the Chase sticker, except it doesn't have white font it has, or white text. It has black text there. And it is the same Cody figure, but in a grayish suit. It's got like a, a flat grayish color, kind of like a neutral tone, olivey grayish tone here. Tie looks really good. It looks like it has some print on there. I like this. I like this a lot. I just don't know if I like it for the chase. I, I guess it is just a recolor, which is cool. But at the same time, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I do like the new chase sticker. I hate that it won't be matching the rest. I don't know why they did that. I'm unsure of why they changed the sticker. But the figure looks good mock and, you know, everything like that. I just don't, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Do you guys like where they just recolored it and called it a chase? Or would you have liked to have seen a little bit more differences there with the Cody Rhodes? I thought it was kind of an odd version there. Kind of, kind of a different take i don't know I, I really don't even know what to say about it right now but i do like the figure you know i do like the figure hopefully i'll be able to come across it i'm you know i'm gonna try to track down every single chase if humanly possible and do everything i can but really don't like the overthrow coat would have liked the shorter shorter version there but at the same time you know that's that's how i'd be sometimes but cody is looking pretty good here with the chase version there but that wraps up the full set you have eight total figures right here you got jade cm punk cm punk is the chase cody cody is the chase mjf adam page and then you do have the luminaries collection chris jericho figure which is what it is man but that pretty much wraps up the entire set as a whole i would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think let me know your thoughts down on there i think it's a very good set i i love uh, pretty much all the figures you know that's kind of a different take the chris jericho's eh mjf's head sculpt is eh of course we are going to review all these figures and break down all the details the cm punk is skinny but uh there's some pretty good banger figures in here so i am actually really excited to see what we get when we get them in hand it should be very soon so if you guys have not pre-ordered this set or picked up this set in any capacity go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but I will see you guys in the next video. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out's going to go to Eric DeMasters, who says, How do you pay a hairdryer? Talking about how I employ the white trusty hairdryer, because he'd be putting in work on the channel all the time. But I thought that was a funny comment. It made me chuckle right there. So I thought that was pretty good. So huge shout-out to Eric, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. You cross